Remember the main developer behind Bolt.DIY? Well, he is back again with the new AI agent framework that is quite revolutionary as it's the world's first autonomous framework that enables the creation of other AI agents using advanced agentic coding workflows and framework knowledge base to unlock a new frontier of automated agents. His name is Cole Medin and I have a lot of respect for him as he is always continuously pushing new value for everyone. He posts a lot of good videos so I highly recommend that you follow him on YouTube but this new AI agent framework is called Archon. Archon is the world's first agent here and it's an AI agent that's designed to autonomously build, refine, and optimize other AI agents. It serves both as a practical tool for developers demonstrating the evolution of agentic systems. At the moment, Archon will be developed in iterations where it's going to be starting off with a simple Pydantic AI agent that can build other different types of Pydantic AI agents. And this is going to be able to operate a full agentic workflow using LangGraph and build other AI agents with other frameworks. At the moment, there's two ways to use Archon. You can use it through an IDE as an MCP server, or you can go ahead and install it with the Streamlit UI, which is going to provide you a user interface to deploy the different Archon agents. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. What we're going to do first is showcase how you can install this locally and set this up with the UI. There's actually two methods to install this. The first option is using Docker, which is recommended, or you can use the Python installation method. Both of them are quite easy to set up. I'm going to go ahead and showcase the Docker method because I think it's a little bit easier to get started with. But first things first, you're going to need to make sure that you have the prerequisites. First, you're going to need to make sure that you have Docker installed if you're following through with option one. Once you have that installed for your operating system, make sure that you have Python as well as Git. And once you have those prerequisites fulfilled, head over to this uh, GitHub repository. You want to copy this first line, which is to clone the repository. So open up your command prompt. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to be using uh, WSL. And we're going to go ahead and paste this in to clone the repository. And once it has done that, we can go into the Archon directory. And then we can go ahead and run the Docker command. But first things first, you're going to need to make sure that you have Docker desktop running in the background. So it can go ahead and actually utilize the Python command. Once that is done and opened up, you're going to go back into your command prompt and run the Python command. Now, in this case, I'm going to need to use the Python 3 command. So let's run the Python 3 run underscore docker dot pi and then click enter. And you're going to be able to then have it work on building the containers and start Archon up within our local host, which we should be able to access within a couple of minutes after it finishes building the container. So it looks like it has now finished installing everything and we can now load this local host up and it should be running with Streamlit. And there we go. We now have Archon running within this UI and I'll explain everything within this left hand panel. So first things first, you want to scroll down and you want to set up everything from the environment configurations to the database setup and then after you have set up all these six steps, you can then head over to the chat and then you can use Archon to start working on building different AI agents. And it's super simple. We're going to first start off by going over and setting up our environment configurations. And you can go over to the environment section. And this is the next tab over here where you can go ahead and paste in all the required uh, keys that are essential for this agent to be operational. So I have now used the OpenAI base URL, provided my API key, and I've also set my base service key as well as the URL. You can retrieve this within the studio and you can actually set that up completely for free. I'm gonna be using the GPT-4 Omni for the reasoning model, the primary model, and then the embedding model, I'm gonna use their text embedding. And then you can go ahead and save the environment variable without you even going into a code editor and editing the environment variable. Next, you need to configure your database setup. And this is so that Archon uses Subbase for vector storage as well as retrieval. 
So this is quite kind of important so that it creates the necessary tables, indexes, and functions for vector similarity search. So to do so, you can go over to the database tab and what you can do is you can first set your embedding dimensions. This is essential for OpenAI and you can go over and get instructions for creating site pages. And this is where you can get the first step to open up your subways SQL editor and then you can use this execution to set this up. After you run the SQL query, you can go back into the database tab and it will tell you that the site pages table already exists. And then you can proceed forward with the next step, which is where you can then go ahead and you can populate your database with the framework uh, documentation. So then you can head over to the documentation and you can press this button, which says crawl Pydantic AI docs. And this will run the Python script and you can see that it's going to be able to execute this in real time as it provides you the crawling log. And it's going to go ahead and populate your database with the Pydantic AI documentation for Archon to be operational. So let this fully fulfill and execute the crawling. And then we can proceed with the next step. And then after it is done, it'll tell you that the crawling process has been completed. So then you can go back to the intro tab and then you can go over to something like agent service setup. This is for MCP agent services. And this is where you can set up the configurations to track and log what is happening. So you can start the agent services over here and you can see that the agent service has now started so that I can now set this up within MCP. So this is kind of optional if you do not want to be using the MCP configurations within an IDE like Klein or WinSurf or Cursor. And to set this up, they actually showcase what you can do. You can go over to the MCP tab and this is where you can set this up for all the different options from WinSurf to Klein. And then you can install it based off of what you installed Archon on, whether that was Docker or Python. So make sure you uh, select the right script and then you can set this up through the ide in this case we can set this up through vs code through Klein. but that is optional if you want to use it through your ide in this case you can use streamlet to work on building different ai agents so what you can now do is head over to the chat tab and now you can basically request it to do anything so you can say build me an ai agent that can search the web with the brave api so we can go ahead and send in this request and we can have archon execute and build the ai agent that would execute this task for us so you can see it is working on generating the code and it's going to be able to build out this whole agent for us so that we can then use it and execute the task of using brave you may wonder why even use something like this and not a chatbot well, the reason is because if you were to connect this to an MCP server and you had it connected to an agentic framework like WinSurf, Klein, or Cursor, it could autonomously build, refine, and optimize AI agents with Archon being the one powering it. Because it, will, it would basically follow an agentic coding workflow that would generate the code, iterate on improvements, optimize the agent interactions all autonomously rather than just getting an output of a code. And what you would get is structured agent development versus a one-off code generation. Now, this is just the beginning because there's going to be future iterations that will release multi-agent coding workflows and so many other functionalities that will make this possibly the best AI agent framework that's available. This will enable you to build AI agents that can do almost anything, automate any sort of task for you, build out backend systems with AI agents powering them, and so much more. This is a really revolutionary project, which was why I really wanted to cover it because it has a really big future. So definitely recommend that you stay updated on what is happening with, with uh, Archon. Huge respects to Cole. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Please let me know what you guys end up building with this because I'm kind of eager to see what sort of AI agents you guys end up building with Archon. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Follow me on the newsletter, Patreon as well as the Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, video, and please take a look at our previous content because there's a lot of videos that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.